believe it or not, I get questions. I maybe 30, 40 questions a week. And sure enough, every week, what's the most common question I get? And I mean it. I mean, I get this question more than Roger, what's the most frequently used indicator? What's your favorite indicator? What indicator should I use? And I'll get this question 50 different ways, but it'll be the same question. What's your favorite indicator? Not a good question. If you guys know anything about me, I go deep into things. There's no such thing as my favorite indicator. Let me explain what the problem is. Once I explain the problem, you'll be able to understand why it's hard to explain. It's impossible to explain what my favorite indicator is. Is the market choppy or is it trending? If the market's trending, you would use one kind of indicator. If the market's choppy, you would use a totally, totally, totally different type of indicator. The best indicator in a trending market is the worst indicator in a choppy market. And the best indicator in a choppy market is the worst indicator in a trending market. So again, is the market choppy or is it trending? If you can't figure that out, I can't recommend an indicator for you. How about this? Are you going to hold the position for a long time six months, nine months, or is it a swing trade lasting three, four days, or maybe even a day trade? If we can't figure that out, it's hard to figure out the best indicator. Why? Because the best indicator for a trending market, one that's going to be moving for a long time, may not be the best indicator for a market that's going to quickly move up and then quickly come down if you're swing trading. So again, you've got to figure out, you got to put into all of this these variables. Without these variables, you have nothing. All right. You really, really have nothing. Another factor is the system or the methodology you're trading. Is that a high probability method? Does it give you seven or eight wins out of every 10 trades? Or is it a low probability method, but it's got a, a high dollar win rate? In other words, you only make money two or three times out of 10, but you make moolah when you make money. Very different system very different methodology, very different indicators. If you were to tell me you're looking for a, uh, in it, if you're, if you're looking for a high win rate, I would probably put you on a momentum indicator. If you're looking for a high dollar win rate, I would put probably put you at, on a uh, exponential moving average indicator. The point is all of these factors is the market choppy or is it trending? Is the market volatile or is, it, is, is, is the volatility really high or is volatility really low? Uh, are we going to be trading this for uh, three months, six months, nine months, or three days? All right. Um, are we looking for a high accuracy or are we looking for a high dollar amount? That all of these factors and more determine if you need what kind of indicator you need. You can't answer this question without knowing these factors. And anyone who says, hey, I'm a professional trader, uh, I manage money for a living, and I use this indicator all the time. Really? Well, let's say the market's moving straight up. A 20-day exponential moving average will be your best friend. And let's say the market's choppy. Do you really want to use a 20-day exponential moving average? No. An RSI, a 10-day RSI oscillator will be your best friend. Will a 10-day oscillator work well in a choppy market? No, no, not at all. So again, there's technical indicators, there's sentiment indicators, there's momentum indicators, there's range-bound indicators, there's volatility indicators. But unless we understand what we're dealing with on a very clear level, it's going to be impossible to figure out the best indicator to use. Unfortunately, it's not one size fits all. That's not how technical indicators work. You have to match the right indicator with the right price action, with the right volatility level, with the right trading plan, with everything has to match. If everything doesn't match, you're going to pick the worst indicator or the wrong indicator, and it's going to end up costing you. It's going to end up costing you a lot of money. And I don't want that. I don't want to see that happening to you. So again, when you're, when you're deciding on the indicator, when you're deciding on the best indicator for what you're doing, please take into consideration, is the market choppy or is it trending? Is volatility high or is volatility low? 
Are you going to be holding the position for a long period of time or a short period of time? Is your strategy dependent on a high percentage of winners or a big dollar win rate and a small percentage of winners? All of these can make a huge difference in answering the question, Roger, what's your favorite indicator? Folks, if you like these videos, send us an email to roger at wealthpress.com and like our channel. Talk to you soon.